the flow of water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the leaves. It involves root, stem, leaf, and environmental factors, tension hypothesis, and the root pressure theory, and experimentally. 2. The root pressure theory states that roots push the water from the soil to the leaves. Process mineral ions are actively and passively transported to the root hair cells leading to a higher concentration of solutes. Water is pumped from root hair cells to other cells by osmosis until it reaches the xylem cells of the root. This push of water from the soil to the xylem cells and upwards to the leaves is responsible for the ascent of sap. The root pressure is more important when the soil moisture is high and the transpiration rate is low. However, root pressure alone cannot explain the long-distance water movement in tall ascent Seliquae the tallest tree, and is not universally accepted. Let's study in detail. Water, plants need water and minerals to survive, which is taken from the roots. When the soil is wet, the water molecules in the soil are more concentrated than in the cells in the roots. The root hairs that extend from the epidermal cell increase the surface area of the water, allowing it to be absorbed quickly. Absorption, mineral uptake in plants, involves the absorption by both active and passive processes. In their ionic form. Through the roots. Some mineral ions diffuse between the cells. By active transport using carrier proteins in the cell membranes. This energy is provided by the plant's root hair cells. Cohesion force, it's the force of attraction between water molecules. The formation of this tension is called cohesion tension. Water also sticks to the walls of xylem vessels so that the water column doesn't break or fall. Addition force, a force of attraction between unlike molecules, such as water and xylem vessels, helps to keep the water tube intact. This force is stronger than the Van de Waal force and is responsible for the retention of the coulomb when the stomata are closed at night. It is the same force that allows water to climb tubes. Transpiration pull, a pull created by the leaf cells as a result of loss of water by the leaves due to evaporation when the stomata are open. Transpiration pull is a biological process a force of pulling, a negative pressure, is produced in the xylem tissue. Transpiration pull is referred as suction force is used to draw the water in an upward direction from the roots to the leaves. The amount of water received by the leaves is used for photosynthesis, and the excess amount of water is released into the atmosphere as vapors through the openings in the leaves known as stomata. The pressure created by transpiration pull applies a force to empa in the the xylem of the leaves pulls water from the soil. Pressure depends on the relative humidity of the air the drier the air higher the pressure and at low relative humidity the transpiration pull is low. Capillary column. The capillary column is created in the plants due to the forces of cohesion, adhesion and capillary force that are continuous from the leaf to the root. Dot osmosis. Osmosis is the process of transferring water molecules from a high concentration of water to a low concentration of water through a membrane that is semi-permeable due to a concentration difference. Xylem vessels. The xylem acts are tubes, having many pores on its sides, and between them, a column of water is made to be pulled up. It is necessary for the transportation of water in plants. Thank mm -hmm. you.